orbit. Beyond the blue. By the 2010s, astronomers had spent decades looking for objects from outside our own solar system. What would essentially be interstellar visitors from an alien star system. But to no avail. But it is when all hope seems to be lost, that some of the most marvelous things happen. It was something like that for these astronomers. After decades of finding absolutely nothing, multiple objects started arriving in our solar system. Scientists and astronomers from across the world, SETI and even NASA joined in the study of these mysterious visitors. One of the very first to arrive was Oumuamua. It emerged from the celestial void and was visible only as a tiny bright speck on the telescope of a space observatory at Hawaii. Tumbling through space at 57,000 miles per hour, the object was found to have come from the direction of Vega, an alien star that resides 147 trillion miles away. It was shaped like an elongated cigar and was 1,000 meters long. That is not very big for a comet or asteroid, but that is, if it even was a comet or asteroid. It possibly formed into an uncannily spaceship-like disk, and by the time it was spotted it had already zipped by our own sun, performed a slick hairpin turn, and was hurtling off in another direction. A very unnatural movement and behavior for an asteroid or comet. It has since attracted immense interest and controversy. Though this weird object is long gone, having since sped back into the interstellar wilds, a raucous debate over its origin has persisted here on Earth, driven in part by speculation among some scientists that the object could have been an alien artifact instead of a natural entity. Now, about seven years later, a pair of scientists have presented a robust natural explanation that accounts for Oumuamua's bizarre behaviors including its puzzling speed boost and slick hairpin turns, as it hurtled through the solar system. About 75% of the interstellar medium is composed of hydrogen gas. So Oumuamua's plenty of time spent drifting aimlessly through interstellar space, left it with hydrogen that transformed to gas in the presence of the sun to allow it the strange movement. This specific mechanism could finally thread the needle between the acceleration of Oumuamua and the lack of whole mock signs of so-called outgassing events that are associated with similar speed bursts observed in solar system objects. To that end, the mechanism can explain many of Oumuamua's peculiar properties without fine-tuning and provides further support that Oumuamua originated as a planetesimal relic broadly similar to solar system comets. So yes, the weird and allegedly alien object that flew past Earth back in 2017, when we were all so young and starry-eyed, could have a new and boring explanation for what it was that may have nothing to do with aliens. This gas comet theory, which was theorized by Jennifer Bergner, an astrochemist at the University of California, Berkeley, and defended by Cornell postdoctoral astronomy researcher Darrell Z. Seligman, offers a somewhat tidier, albeit less fantastical, explanation that the object, which some have posited may have been an asteroid, was actually a comet, and was propelled by hydrogen gas that came from a potentially icy core. Naturally, there are people, like Avi Loeb, of course, who aren't buying it. The Harvard astronomer emailed a statement to the New York Times, which stated, The authors of the new paper claim that it was a water ice comet even though we did not see the cometary tail. This is like saying an elephant is a zebra without stripes. The natural explanation for Omum or strange movements cuts against the theories forwarded by Loeb in the past. Loeb who has recently completed work for the Pentagon's UFO Investigation Department, believes that the object was actually an alien artifact. It might sound outlandish, but Loeb's approach is more rigorous than your typical tinfoil hat-wearing alien hunter. He and his colleagues have debunked reports of UFOs above Ukraine, 
and recently even confirmed the presence of the first interstellar objects on Earth using classified government data. In 2018, having studied Oumuamua, Loeb knew that there must be other interesting objects in NASA's Center for Near Earth Object Studies catalog, and approached his student Amir Syraj with it. Within days, Syra I had identified the 2014 meteor as a potential interstellar meteor candidate, as the object had a speed closer to 60 km per second before entering Earth. This was going to change everything. If the Center for Near Earth Object Studies data, which is composed of independently verified data from the scientific community, were correct, the meteor would dethrone Oumuamua to become the first interstellar object to visit not just our solar system, but also Earth. They submitted a paper on it to be peer-reviewed, but it was turned down, and the scientific community declined to formally designate CNEOS the 8th of January 2014 as an interstellar object. This was the case because the data used to calculate the meteor's impact on Earth was gathered by a U.S. Department of Defense satellite. And revealing the precise values of the measurement of the object became a closely guarded secret because the U.S. military refused to disclose the capabilities of their satellite to the world. Dejected, Avilo and Syraj moved on to other projects, however the story doesn't end there. If anything, it has only begun. Thanks to a partnership between the Department of Defense and NASA, three years later, in 2022, the data describing the event eventually were shared on a public database, along with data for more than 900 other fireballs recorded by U.S. government sensors between 1988 and the present day. The 2014 meteor is now officially the first known object originating from outside our solar system, and its fragments are buried deep inside our waters. Intriguing, isn't it? That's what Loeb and Syraj think too. In fact, Loeb even believes that the object might, and that's a big might, be a piece of alien technology, and that's why he's planning an expedition to retrieve the object from the floor of the Pacific Ocean. My dream is to press some buttons on a functional piece of equipment that was manufactured outside of Earth," he wrote at the time. Loeb said he had received an email recently from someone begging him please don't press a button if you find such a gadget. He basically was worried that it will affect all of humanity, Loeb said. I said, don't worry about it, I will not press any button. It would be just a remarkable discovery to figure out what we uncover, because it would represent modernity for us, even though it represents ancient history for the senders. We wish Loeb the very best. Retrieving technology from another world will be the biggest discovery of humanity, and it will open up secrets of the universe like never before. Coming back to Aumuamua, does the hydrogen gas theory hold substance? Sure does. The hydrogen theory is really the simplest explanation of all. And sometimes, the truth really is that which we think was too easy to be true. But what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.